How's it guys? Welcome to the episode. Thank you guys for tuning in again. Today's episode is going to be about a white metal spoon. So I'm showing you guys how to shine that up. White metal spoons work amazing during the sardine run. And as you guys know, the sardines are already moving. Hopefully that we are allowed to go and fish during the sardine run into level 3, if not level 2. And this is hope the sardines can wait for us. If not, these spoons still work well outside the sardine run as well. But I love using white metal spoons during the sardine run. White metal spoons are very easy to clean and they have amazing shine on them. So I'll be showing you guys again today how to shine them up. But again, you can keep the video nice and sharp and sweet. I'm not going to go too lengthy with it. So I'm just going to touch up on the basics again. So you guys know what I'm trying to show you guys. Cheers. All right, guys. There's our white metal spoon. I'm going to quickly show you how we clean this up. First thing you're going to do is take your sunlight liquid and some water your seal wool and clean this up first just gonna rubbing quite hard just to clean it up nicely the magic's at the end I'll show you guys how to make this thing really shine okay that's done keep this one side Take a cloth, wipe the spoon up, perfect. Now what you do is, you take a scissors on the back, you start to scrape it. As you guys can see, there's lines, but that's not going to make it shine. It's gonna shine, but not enough. I'll show you the magic at the end. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna clean this off a bit quickly with the back of the knife. Shining your spoons does take quite a bit of time, but doing them is always worth it at the end because you want that that, ex that excellent shine in your spoon when you're throwing. You don't want a dull spoon in the water. So take your time. Make sure it's right. And white metal spoons, they... You'll see a lot of flakes are coming out as I'm using it. But they're very... I'm going to say fragile spoons. When they hit the rocks, they dent with quite a lot as well. They have an excellent shine to them. Okay. Clean this up a bit. As you guys can see, that's already shining. And here's the magic. You take either tot glass or tumbler and you rub it in. Use it underneath or the top. You can see that shine. It'll be almost like a mirror like reflection. Look at that. Take a look at that. Look at the shine on that there already. So the more you clean it up, the better it's going to be. So I'll do it again. Let's clean it a bit more. You can also use the flat side of the knife, of your scissors or your knife. I'll show you quickly. Can you see that mirror like reflection? It's coming out. So the more you clean it, and the more you polish it this way, the more it's gonna shine. Take a look at that. Can you see that? It's like a mirror. See this side? Take a look at this side. Let's do it again on this side. Just gonna take the flat side of the scissors. Look at that. That's your spoon. Okay, wipe it down a bit. It's absolutely shiny. The more you flatten it, the more these, these marks will go away. And then what we normally do is, uh, as it gets a bit dull while we're fishing, we take the spoon and we rub it into the sand near the water and it starts shining again like this here. 
just grab the back of your scissors and just shine it again and it's good to go again so that's a nice shiny spoon and remember sunny one's coming up these are the spoons i'll be using for my edibles Thank you.